call the public works meeting to order. Uh, roll call. Um, Person Salazar is here. Yep. Person Slavio is here. Yep. And um, we have Jim Borden is excused and Gracia is excused. Yeah. Okay, start out with Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Start out with 2.1 approval of minutes from July 27th. Move to approve the minutes from our last meeting. Second. Motion made and seconded. Any discussion on those minutes? All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. The minutes are approved. 3.1. Direct referral resolution, resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a permanent easement underground utility easements and a temporary easement between the city of Sheboygan and its Board of Water Commissioners that are specific to the new raw water improvements project. Director. Yes, Mr. Chairman, um, Joe Trueblood from the Water Utility is uh, on the conference here, the committee, uh, virtually. And Joe Curlin, uh, Superintendent of Parks and Forestry, really uh, kind of expedited this through a process through the Marina Parks and Forestry Commission, along with Thomas uh, Cameron's uh, guidance in terms of following a process that is outlined by the municipal code for for granting such an easement in park park land. So, uh, I, if Joey, you just want to maybe sure. just give a little background with your with the introduction and background on the IFC and um, what the process was and what the recommendation out of that Marina Parks and Forestry Commission is, and I guess the approval that we're looking forward to this evening. So this came before the Public Works Department with all the easements needed, uh, short term and long term, and it would under Section um, 74.2a, it was referred to the Marina Parks and Forestry because um, there's parts of it have a long term lease agreement, a uh, use agreement for the for the parks, and this is concerning um, Balrath Park, hole number 13, which is a, a pretty significant hole down by the lake. So it. Um, uh, we held, working with Thomas, we held three public hearings, uh, 16th, 17th, and 18th at three different times. Um, there were no, uh, nobody there to speak at and all three. Um, the first one, Joe Trueblood gave a very good PowerPoint of explain, explaining why it was needed for the city and then uh, what it would look like and where it's going. Um, David, along with uh, the water utility and myself, for several months, we're already working with representatives of the Disc Golf Group, uh, Dennis Wild, who runs the shack there, and other members. Um, we have a consultant on board to, to look at the park itself, not only to help replace hole number 13, or maybe try to use it in some way to kind of have that lake look, but also um, to look um, at the whole um, layout itself and how we can improve everything. So, put a significant amount of time and fees into it, and we, we're still in the process of doing that. So they really already knew, yeah, you know, we're losing, okay, a really nice hole, but we know, we understand why. And we understand that the city's already doing something for us to, to try to really make things better. So it was um, approved unanimously, unanimously at the Marina Parks and Forestry to make a recommendation to move it on to the Public Works Department. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, I mean, it's something that's it's just, it's just necessary. I mean, uh, uh, and I think the fact that there wasn't any, anyone speaking in it because of the fact that they just, people realize it, it just it has to happen. I mean, it, not everyone may be happy about it, but it's just, it's one of those things that just has to happen. So. May I ask a question? Sure, go ahead. Thank you. This one's going to pertain to our attorney in the room. <laughs> Looking at these easements, um, it, it, the second paragraph down says, known all men by these presents in all capitals. Would it still be a legal document that would have the same effect if the word men was replaced with persons? Yes. Can we do that? Can we pull up the document itself? 
yes, we can we can make that tweak. Okay. Do I need to make an amendment to make that happen, or can it just happen? Uh, my concern with if you make an amendment because of process in section 74-2A is whether that sort of insignificant in the grand scheme of things amendment as it would be mm -hmm. um, does that now require us to go back because it's now a different thing and I, I don't think anyone wants that to occur yeah. that is um, why i'm asking this question so <laughs> I, I would say the best practice would probably be to not make an amendment to not sort of cloud that yes and i have heard the thought, and I'm not hearing opposition from anyone else. I'm just curious, of like, what's the difference? Why, like, oh, why change it? Like, um, why are we asking them? Just for equality sake, it Mark, is, because there could be women that also. Oh, it says men. Yeah. Men, not so. Oh, and, okay, and, I'm all for it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and then the. It was it was written that way because that's how legal documents have been written forever, which mm -hmm. doesn't make it right. Um, but there, there's also um, a tenant of construction at this point where men is you is a sort of a genderless term in that sense where it yeah, yes, it says men, but it means yeah. it means persons. Yeah. So. Man versus mankind. Right. <laughs> Okay. Motion's being seconded. Any other discussion on this? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Chair votes aye. That is passed. Yeah. Good job. I heard it's a big group. They're like super happy yeah. and yeah. feel engaged and so kudos. Oh, good. Do it Okay. okay. 3.2 resolution number 43 21 22, August 2nd, 2021, document 4. Point for a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute a lease agreement between the city of Sheboygan, the LUH made environmental park association of Sheboygan County incorporated and the Sheboygan area school district. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to defer to again, uh, superintendent parks and forestry, Joel Curlin. Okay. And uh, he can give a little background on this. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, Warner High actually has been using um, Maywood for several years now. So we basically, I think this is the, I think this is the third time coming around um, to have an agreement with Warner High. They they they're hurting for some little extra space. They bring in their their um, I believe math class, science classes. Um, they use the older part, which is the ecology center, the environmental lab area, the programming, and they do a lot of outdoor um, assignments too. So they, they like for math and, and science, they, they, they take what's in the book and they apply it to outside situations um, and with the water. And, and um, so it's, it's been good uh, for Warner High. Uh, they, they, they definitely want to come back this year and use it. It's been a great source of revenue. Uh, for Maywood, and they've been re very respectful, so there's been no concerns. Um, the, the teachers have been great, the kids have been great, um, so we would like to uh, uh, go ahead and, and have this agreement again for a, a school year. They uh, uh, $1,111 um, $1 per month is their rental. Um, they're not there five days a week for the full school days. It varies a little bit. But some half days, some I think a, a full day or two. But so, um, been a good situation and for everybody. Mr. Marcus, I get another contract question here. <laughs> uh, rent number seven. Uh, Schwinger Air School District will pay half of the rent by check on the on or before the first of each month, um, beginning September first. No payment shall be required for the month of June. When is the second half due? Did I miss that part in here? Or do they only have to pay half the rent? It's a really interesting question. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like they've been paying it all. <laughs> so yeah. And so um, the the only revision to this lease from last year's are changing the dates. Mm -hmm. um, 
So interestingly, we've approved it that way for several years, it looks like. Um, they still would owe the whole amount, right? but it just says there's no penalty if they only pay 50% each month and then like the rest of it at the end, maybe, who knows? And the payment goes directly to Maywood. Correct, yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. So or they'd else. be the ones to flag us, flag Warner. Maywood's responsible for mm -hmm. knowing yes. that the check's coming in. Yes, yes. So there's no issues. It's no. just and it's a we haven't it's a defined entity. what the rest of the second half Public is. Public entity, it's not. Do we need to? Um, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I believe this one has been approved by the school district already. Um, given that I'm not aware of an issue with them not making payment, so you Joe, you know if there's been an issue? No, no, I just... um, So I will make a note for next year. Okay. We'll, we'll get that cleaned up. Um, but again, so that it doesn't have to go back to yep. the school district to uh, to get a new version approved. Uh, move to approve. I'm comfortable with it, I'd say yes. Second. Motion's well, made and seconded. I guess I have one quick. So <clears throat> why are they looking at half it? Was it or are they just paying full anyways? I, 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 would, I would almost assume why they would they be cutting two checks? Right. right. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah. Paying yeah. Paying yeah. Paying well, one is. Yeah. yeah. So I guess that's <laughs> uh, any other discussion. Did they use the space during quarantine during like a uh, transition of coming back? They used it somewhat, but not as much. Not yeah. as much. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, then that's it. Um, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? The chair votes aye, and that is approved. Okay, 3.3, 3, resolution 47, 21, 22, August 16th, 2021, document 5.3, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to accept a grant from the Sheboygan County Stewardship Fund and a grant from Restoration of Our Tree Sheboygan for Emerald Act or mitigation. Mr. Chairman, again, I'm, I'm going to also defer to Joe Kerlin, Parks okay. and Forestry Superintendent, and what he was saying. And I don't know stuff. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. That's, that's okay. Learning how to negotiate. Yes, uh, and I, Tim, Tim Bull, our city forester, is also here present uh, since he's been really active in this program. So between the two of them, I'm to let them make a little small presentation on what this is concerning. Yeah, and really, I'm David. If it's okay, I'm going to turn it over to Tim. He yeah. worked very hard on this. He he worked uh, with both programs, um, helping to write the grants. And he went to both um, 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 applications when they when they met with the people and asked questions. He worked very close with Tony um, to write these also. So uh, basically, I want him to we'll talk yeah, about it. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, so Tony Fessler with Roots and I put together this grant, and uh, we we targeted. Well, first off, Tony with Roots. We we talked with him and he and they have they have grant opportunities so we we talked about what I want to do this year and and he, he thought that was great and then he brought to my attention there's this county for or the county stewardship grant so we said well let's try to get that so it worked out we got the grant from from the county stewardship and then Tony with Roots they also agreed to give us ten thousand so what. What this is is twenty five thousand total, and what it's going to do is it's going to pay for ten thousand dollars worth of trees that are going to be planted this fall in nine of our parks where we cut down a hundred. It's going to be a hundred trees, and we cut down a hundred ash trees within the last year or two. We ground all the stumps, so they're they're ready to be replaced. So those hundred trees are going to be put in this fall. So that's about ten thousand dollars of it. The other fifteen thousand is going towards. Uh, a bare root gravel bed, which is going to be placed in the old impound yard in the backyard here. What it is is a space that's going to be pea gravel where you get trees in the spring, you order bare root trees in the spring, and you put them in this pea gravel, and there's irrigation water lines on timers, and they stay in there all summer until October. Then we take them out and we plant them. And what it does is it takes a bare root tree in the spring and it 
it may it like accelerates the root growth like crazy where, where it goes from just normal roots to like this huge ball of fine fine root hairs and it it, it greatly increases the chances of survival and and it's kind of like jump starting it and and it's a nice safe place for them to, to stay there and then we can plant them in the in the fall so the fifteen thousand is going to help pay for the the work that needs to be done there we're going to be putting in some water supply lines underground and it's going to be paved and there'll be a little border block put in and some above ground plumbing and timers and the pea gravel is basically the costs but the the grant we applied for it they need a fifteen thousand dollar match the stewardship does but we included next year's trees and and the project uh materials so we're going to be spending at least thirty thousand on trees next year for it and the materials is going to be it's going to be no problem for us to spend our, our fifteen thousand work so anyway it's a it's a great um deal the city Racine has one we're kind of copying theirs ours will be about the same size maybe slightly bigger but um they have one they've used for years and i i went down there to, to see it and see how they do it and it just makes sense to buy these trees cheaper we can get the, the bare root trees cheaper and they're much easier to plant than a containerized or a bald and burlap tree so it's cheaper easier and uh it's it's going to be better for the trees being in this gravel bed how many trees will it fit yeah so it'll fit approximately 560 or 580 trees is what like the when we did the spacing on the computer told us now my plan is to do 300 next year just to see how we can handle 300 mm -hmm. and then you know if that's if we can feel like we can do more we can and there's room we'll do more the next year but uh you, you have a picture of it that you could just i do um um yeah how can i get that on my computer Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if you had one on your desk that you could just pass around real oh. quick. Or... That's all right. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we I, can. I got a power horn on my on my computer. I could I could grab, but. Yeah. Is it similar to what you would already have, or it's in addition to what we have? No. Uh, right now, uh, I guess I don't understand. We don't have. We don't have anything. So that's no, why but... I got why when we went on the tour. There was like a spot. Was that the hopes of where it would be? Hopes of where it would okay. be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now we have to buy it and we have to get them planted like within okay, okay. a couple of weeks and keep them wet at the same time. So okay. these we can kind of plant yeah. at our leisure also. Perfect. Yeah, okay. that's that's what it'll look like. Cool. Yeah. Oh, I think this is yeah. Great. Then if you if you go what they look like when you pull them out after sitting in there, it's the difference is just amazing. Mm -hmm. The city of Plymouth put one in two years ago, a small one. Okay. But theirs is theirs has been treating them really well. I think it's Oh, no root girdling right away, and you know, they in the container they're getting used to go, going around and starting the root girdle already, and these are ready to go, and, and none of that. So it's yeah, I mm-hmm. And it's nice to see the trees, are, the ones we did, we have planted already. It's, 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 you know, it's. It was disheartening to see all the other ones go down, but it's nice to see some now coming around again. Now you're actually seeing some some trees, you know, at some of the streets and stuff like that where there was nothing. Now there's starting to be some trees again. And so I, I'm all for this. So just like to say thanks to the Roots organization for donating the money and the yes. county for helping us out as well, even though current. I guess that's for the TV that is watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got a motion. Go. Motion to approve. Second. Okay. <laughs> motion <laughs> is second. Any other discussion on this? <laughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. That's a great, great idea. Okay, 3.4, resolution 4821-22, res document 9.1, a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into a contract with Ter Tweet Garrett Mechan Mechanical for the construction of improvements to the HVAC system at the wastewater treatment plant and to make related expenditures. 
Yes, Mr. Chairman, we have this evening with us Steve Jasser, Superintendent of Wastewater Treatment Plant Operations, and uh, he's very excited about this project. Really and, uh, <laughs> let, I'm going to let him explain some of the particulars and details on this. Steve. So um, we have a, we're all the wastewater company that's called a wet well, and it's made for people, it's designed for people to be down there, but it's also designed with continuous ventilation. And that hasn't worked for a number of years. The ducts all rotted away and things. We don't go down there very often. Oh, okay. <laughs> only when we have to. <laughs> um, so what this does is this re removes the old unit and restores it. Uh, the grit room, that's where the rejects go from our screens. I don't remember if you remember our screens when you were on the tour. So that doesn't, that's part of this ventilated with the same unit. So all mm -hmm. it does is circulate some air, cold air now. So this will allow us to heat that building. We've got some mold and stuff on the walls. We're gonna clean all that up, repaint it. And all the duct work going, it'll be stainless so it doesn't rot because the other stuff's all corroded and uh, falling down and things. So it'll clean all that up and, and replace it with two new units. So this is basically a safety thing. I mean, it, it is, sure. More than anything. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's for the wet well. In my code, we're supposed to have a balance because it has a stairs access, everything to go down there. We do, when we go down there, we take air monitors and kind of treat it as a confined space. Hmm. If it's running as the point of basically disintegrated, why haven't we fixed it sooner? Well, this is we finally got the money in the budget for this this year, right? right. right. So we'd like to say it's not like we go down there every day. But you do have to go down there. So, any motion to approve? Second. Motion made and seconded. Any other discussion on that? All those in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? Chair votes aye. That is approved. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 3.5 General Ordinance Number 21 or 2021-22, August 16th, 2021. Document 7.3, an ordinance create creating a no parking zone on the east side of North 9th Street, north of Center. So if we're you so you're all familiar with City Hall. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, this first one would be to put a no parking on the side of City Hall, um, mainly, particularly in this area where this is an old aerial photo because it has the old garage thing in the back that's not there and it doesn't have the addition on. Uh, but anyway, we, we put the new monument sign that says Sheboygan City Hall. Mm -hmm. In between there, there's two driveways. Mm -hmm. And what we're looking to do is there's probably a spot for like one car to sneak in there and park, and there's no meter there. And so we're looking so people don't park in front of the Sheboygan City Hall sign in between the two driveways. This would prevent anyone park there and, and block the view and kind of the the sight line for entrance and exit out of the driveway of City Hall. So that's what that this first one would create. Um, let me just try this real quick. Um, Thank you. 